Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a office wear kind of everyday makeup look. So it's going to be quick and simple, really easy to achieve. I know a lot of you get ready in the car or the train or the bus when you're heading to the office in the morning. So I'm going to try and keep this really simple, easy to replicate if you are on those kind of transportations as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into the makeup look. <laughs> <coughs> So I'm sure most of you will have cleansed and moisturized your skin before heading to work in the morning. Even if you just gave a bit of a rinse and a bit of a moisturize, that's good enough. You create a nice tacky base for the makeup to adhere to and stick to. I'm just going to go in with a mo moisturizing primer today. This is the HelloFab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm just applying this all over to give my skin a nice smooth, even texture. Make sure I don't have any like crusty areas or patches of make like where my makeup could cling to, like around my breakouts and things. They could be, have a bit of texture, so I'm just going to smooth that out with some moisturizer. Okay, next thing is foundation. So we want to get nice and quick through this routine. So I'm going to grab a pretty full coverage foundation today. I'm going to go in with my Fit Me foundation in the shade creamy beige and I like this one because it is matte and poreless as well so it'll keep me matte throughout the day whilst providing a nice coverage especially to my problem areas all these breakouts and things if you guys do want to see my most recent acne coverage foundation routine I will leave it linked up above in the cards as well as down below in the description bar for you to check out if you would like. I'm just taking the booty end of my beauty blender and I'm just going to butt that. I'm just going to butt that all over my skin like just kind of press it into the skin. I'm not worrying too much if there's a perfect blend because let's be real on those days where you're just rushing your way to work you don't care. If everything's perfectly blended, you just want it to be a nice even canvas. If there's blotches, there's blotches. We deal with it during the day. Next is concealer. So I'm going to take my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Win. And just pop that underneath my eyes. Conceal my lids with that as well. And pop it on these little heads over here. Those little breakout friends. Or foes really. And again, taking my beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend a concealer out. I mean, most of you could even, to be honest, use your fingers to blend in your foundation and your concealer. You don't really need a sponge or brush to do that. I've done a few routines. I'll leave linked above and down below where I've just used my fingers to blend in my cream products because I am in such a rush. And it's just easier when you're taking your makeup kit not to have to bother bringing extra utensils that you really don't necessarily need. Okay, quickly moving on to powder. We're going to take our raw pressed powder in the shade Nude. I love this just because it's great. Oh, so let me just open it. Oh, I love this because it's really compact and easy to bring as like a travel um, makeup product. So you literally can just blah, blah, blah. you literally can just chuck this in your makeup bag. Easily fits, easy to take with you. It's got your own mirror, and pff, mine's a little bit dirty, but it does come with its own mirror, so it's easy for travel. If you are traveling by bus, car, train, you can just bring this along, do your makeup with it. So I'm just gonna press this into my skin with a dry beauty sponge. You can use a damp one if you prefer. I don't prefer to use a damp one, so I like going in with dry, I just find it creates a smoother, can't like a smoother effect on the skin and I love to just kind of press it over my pores just in this area kind of triangle area here so it highlights but it also kind of blurs my pores so my skin looks a lot more airbrushed and then quickly after setting my powder in place I go in with my setting spray this is the Kat Von D Lock It setting spray it lasts 24 hours you can Use a, any, any setting spray that you prefer, one that creates dewy, glowy skin, one that mattifies, anything you want. I just like to go in with my Kat Von D one. Oh, it's just so refreshing and the cucumber scent just makes life. It's like a summer day. Okay, so on a 
like off its day kind of makeup look I actually won't bother bronzing I'll just contour and blush so for contour today I'm going to take this makeup geek contour powder in the shade breakup and just start chiseling out my cheekbones contour the forehead just slightly give like a slight shadow underneath that hairline you can properly contour your nose I just find if you're on the train the bus or in the car you do not give a rat's ass if you contour your nose properly or not so I'm just going to whiz through with a little bit of that contour powder on my fluffy Chi Chi bronzer brush that we were using to contour our face I'm just going to slightly give a slight shadow to the nose and for blush today I'm going to go in with this Meiji blush shade from the Aspen Ovard palette. Of course, you guys can use whatever blush you have at home. I just love the rosy tone this one gives. And I like to go pretty ham on the blush. So I do bring it on the contours and slightly on my apples, whatever's left on the brush. But mainly focus it in this area. And like I said, I do go pretty heavy with it just because blush is the first thing to fade on the skin as well. Just applying a little bit more than you usually would and then for highlight, I'm actually going to take the Pure Soul Highlight from the palette. And on my finger, I'm just going to kind of roll it onto the cheekbones. Bring it to the apples. And touch it on the nose as well. Okay, quickly for brows. You've got two options. You can either go in with a tinted brow gel, chuck it through your brows, you're good to go. You don't need to worry about them after that. I prefer to sculpt them out just a little bit with some brow powder like whoop. there goes the brush like I was just saying I have done a video where I've just you know done the most minimal amount of makeup you know two minute makeup look you're out the door you're good to go this one's a little bit more dewy up just because we are going to the office I do want to have you know my brows on a little bit more than just a tinted brow gel anyways enough rambling on I'm going to take my two brow powders because I am extra like that so I'm going to take my soft brown first you guys have seen me do my brows like a good Julian and one times I'm sure so feel free to fast forward through this step if you aren't really interested I mean like for me doing the brows is the most boring part of a whole look oh depending on my mood sometimes I'm just like yeah like really getting into it got some music going loving shaping out my brows and then sometimes I'm just like it's a bit of a chore. So with the soft brown, I'm just chucking it through the head of the brow, connecting it up to the arch on the bottom. Then with the deep brown shade, I'm just shaping the arch of my brow, so the bottom half. I like to give the most attention to this area here to really shape it. And the tail end, I'll give that a bit of structure as well, but then with the rest of the brow, I literally just chuck that deep brown shade through and call it a day. And then because I have shaped my brows, I prefer to go in with a clear brow gel. You can go in with tinted, like I said. I mean, depending on my mood, it depends if I go in with a tinted or a clear. If I'm doing an intense eye makeup look, definitely go in with tinted brow gel to really bring some life and attention to those hairs. But because we aren't really doing much with the eyes, if anything... The brows don't need so much attention, you know. Okay, so my thoughts for the eyes and the lips. I'm going to do a more intense look because with lips, when you go into the office, you can change up your lip colour each day and it makes you look like a, you have a whole new makeup look. Whereas with eyes, I feel like it takes more time to change up an eye makeup look. You just don't have the time. You're on the bus. You're just like, you're pumping up and down. You're going to muck up your eyeshadow. It's just going to be a whole calamity, a whole shebang. So we to avoid that... I'm just going to use the same products that we use on our face, on our eyes. So keep it simple, keep it quick, give a bit of definition to the eyes, move on to the next step, you know. By the way, it reminds me, I forgot to put my lip conditioner on. This makes such a difference for your lipstick application. So if you haven't put some lip moisturiser or just like a lip balm on, I recommend doing so now. So again, I'm going to take the blush shade on a fluffy brush from the waiver this is the 221 soft crease and I'm just quickly placing that through the crease no rhyme or reason to oh, I hiccup sorry 
no rhyme or reason to it. And because it is the same colour as our blush, we're kind of getting that symmetrical look to the face. Not wanting too much in there, just something very, very soft. By the way, you loving like my low bun? I totally just chucked this up for you guys because I need to wash my hair. I was like, oh god, like there is a bit of a disaster. And I thought for an office look, usually, you know, we have our hair like tied back, full professional kind of thing. I thought it suited the look, but really it's just me trying to hide the fact that, you know, I have three day old hair that needs washing. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> and then for a brow bone in a corner highlight to really open up the eyes, I'm going to take the same highlight that we use on our cheeks, on our eyes, getting that symmetrical kind of look going. It's just easier, you know, with packing your makeup kit, you don't have to pack a bajillion different things. Hence why I'm going in with the same brush on my crease, not my crease, my brow bone and inner corner. I also think a fluffy brush creates a softer inner corner than a pencil brush so I actually prefer for an everyday look to keep it pretty soft. Okay for mascara today I'm changing it up. What? Yep changing it from my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Stefak. And I'm going in with my Argan Wear Physicians Formula Mascara and just applying a little bit of this. It does come out pretty clunky like gluggy so I always like to just kind of wipe the brush off a lot before I go in and I just apply a light layer of mascara. I just do a little bit for a bit of volume and a bit more blackness. I like this mascara because it is such an intense black. It just doesn't separate the lashes very well. So you find your lashes are a bit like clunky you can just grab a spoolie brush and I just kind of comb it through to separate the lashes. And I actually prefer to just do my top lashes and leave my bottom lashes bare. Okay, finally for the lips, the last step to this routine before we set our face, walk out the door. So I'm going to do an intense, intense, I'm doing an intense pink lip. <laughs> I'm going to do an intense pink lip oh my god i'm so tongue-tied today so i'm going to take this nyx lip liner in the shade hot red it comes out more pink i find but if you are on the bus or in a rush or in the car you don't have to line your lips you can just chuck your lip color on especially if you're just doing a nude but like i said i feel like with an office look you're wearing makeup basically every day so you want to kind of change it up if not for others but for yourself because you get bored in the mundane routine so a lip change, like a lip colour change, makes all the difference. And I find the lip colour just like a lip liner just glides on so much easier if I've got that lip conditioner down. So for my lip colour choice, I'm going in with this Revlon HD Tropical lipstick i haven't used this in such a long time oh but it smells it smells really yum it's a glossy i kind of effect so it really makes your lips look really full oh my god i'm in love that's such a like neon pink lip ah oh, imagine walking into work with this statement damn damn and like i said now we can finish spritzing our face walk out the door we're finished the look Okay guys, so this completes today's work office appropriate makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, got a trick or two out of it. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you did like this video. And make sure to hit that big subscribe button down below. And then hit the little bell next to it so you guys can stay up to date and notified with all my latest videos and tutorials like this one. Otherwise, have an amazing day guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.